First off, I just wanted to say thanks for clicking on this video. I know the uh, the title, Bags for Landscape Photography Bags, is a very obscure topic and not something you hear discussed very often, but anything related to, to photography bags or um, you know ex accessory bags or anything that's gonna help me stay more organized or increase uh, efficiency whilst shooting you know photos is something that I've always been interested in and I'm always on the lookout for ways to you know better my workflow and you know stay even more organized I'm kind of a, a freak when it comes to that but you know bags for bags or accessory bags is definitely not a new concept it's been around for for ages and I'm no historian on this topic, but I believe it started with uh, toiletry bags or, or ditty bags, whatever you like to call it. You know, and it was ultimately to carry your you know, small bathroom items, your toothbrush, toothpaste, you know, Q-tips, dental floss, whatever it is. Whenever you go on vacation and you put them in your small bag, that way it's not all flying around free in your larger suitcase. So, um, you know, a brief little history lesson on that. Not that you didn't know it already, but you know, bags for or accessory bags for photography are, are really no different because there's so many smaller items. I, I honestly have more smaller items than I do um, larger items, you know, camera bodies and lenses. So I find them, you know, accessory bags uh, insanely useful for, you know, the SD cards, your batteries, battery chargers, cords, microphones, the, the list literally goes on and on and on. And I've used many over the years and some of the best ones that I've found are made by, you know, a Think Tank Photo, a Peak Design, and, um, you know, the Shimoda Design Company. They're all very different in the way they're designed and the functionality inside of each, but they're all, you know, very wildly useful and uh, very affordable, too. So um, this is actually a, a little leather hard shell moleskin container. I'm not 100% sure what it's a... Uh, what it's originally intended for, but uh, I think it's fantastic for all the little tools that, uh, you know, your tripods and cameras and everything else. It's a great way to store these in, in there. So uh, let's take this over to the desk and get a closer look. All right, so these are the Think Tank Photo accessory pouches. This is the, uh, I believe this is the Cable Management 10 version 2.0, and this is the Cable Management 20 version 2.0. The, uh, the smaller version retails for $17.75 and the larger version retails for $22.75. There's not a whole lot to these bags. They're, um, I, I like them because there's just no frills. The entire front of the bag is uh, completely clear, which is fantastic because you never have to open it up to see what's inside. You can just look in your bag and see what's contained within each one of these, which is a very nice touch. They both have um, YKK zippers, which is great. You don't have to worry about them binding or catching a hold of anything, which is always a good touch. As far as the back goes, there's not a whole lot back here either. Just an area to put a uh, business card just so you could identify the bag is yours. The larger version also has a little handle strap here. You could strap it to a uh, tripod or anything while you're using it if you wanted to do that as well or just carry it by hand. But now the best part about these bags, in my opinion, is what's inside here. Think Tank calls these red whips, and what they are is they're cable ties, and they're fantastic. It's amazing that uh, other camera manufacturers haven't caught on to this, or maybe they just don't want to copy them, but these are amazing. I have these everywhere, and it's just a great way to keep all your cables organized. I usually keep these bags organized by brand, so I might have one organized with uh, all my Sony gear, so uh, batteries, chargers, and everything related to Sony mirrorless cameras in one. And then maybe this one will be for all Apple products, you know, your iPhone, your MacBook Pro, your iPad. That way, if I ever need anything related to, you know, my phone, I could just grab the Apple bag or my, my A7 uh, R2, I could just grab, the, you know, the Sony bag and uh, get up and go. And I know it'll have whatever I need inside. So that was a tip I got from a photographer a couple years ago, and it has definitely served me well ever since. Now this is the Peak Design Field Pouch. This retails for $39.95, which might seem like a lot, but there's a lot underneath the hood here. It comes in four different colors. This is the charcoal version. It comes in tan, ash, and black as well. And it's completely expandable, which is, in my opinion, probably my favorite part of it. It can expand all the way out to uh, three liters. So if you have it completely filled to maximum capacity, you would fold it like that. If you don't have much in there, you would simply fold it down to that level. So that's a very nice touch that um, it gives you that option as far as uh, the cap capacity that you happen to be carrying in it. Another nice touch here is, you hear that? 
you don't get that classic Velcro rip. So the, the, the type of Velcro that Peak Design decided decided to use here is very nice. It's very quiet and subtle. You don't uh, you know get everyone turning around looking at you when you're opening up your bag. So it's uh, all about the little things. Now, if you flip it over, you have the uh, the Peak, Des Peak Design anchor points. So you can hook it to their camera straps or leash and utilize this as a over the shoulder or a separate bag as well. And if you're not using them, you can just simply just tuck them away in here like so. There's also a nylon belt loop here that you could put your, run your belt through and you could actually use this as a fanny pack if you wanted to. I've never actually gone that route with it, but uh, the option's there if you, uh, if you so choose. Peak Design also kind of reinforced the bottom here, just add a little bit of extra protection. This bag isn't gonna protect everything, uh, its contents, if you drop it from any kind of substantial height, but it uh, definitely will protect it uh, somewhat. Now the, uh, the real magic here is uh, what's on the inside. So there's a, uh, a plethora of pockets contained within here and they're kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna kind of open it up here. So you have two mesh pockets right here and, and they're both stretchy. So I have a, a backup drive in here right now, but you can put really anything in there. I've actually seen people put uh, small mirrorless lenses in here as well. So you could do that if you so choose. And the entire inside is lined with felt. So that's a, a very nice touch. And beside, behind each one of these mesh pockets is a, a separate pocket as well. So you could put more small little bits and pieces in here, microphones, chargers, SD card holders, battery backups, I mean, whatever you want. Now I do have a confession. I had this bag for a week before I noticed that there was another zipper right here in, a, uh, in two more pockets. So, and this is really my only complaint with the bag. I wish Peak Design would uh, not split this area into two. I wish they would have kept it one fluid opening here. You could put like your, your wallet, your passport or things like that in there. I think that would have been a little bit better served. It, this kind of feels like it was a little over-engineered, but you know what, it's, it's their company, it's their decision. But you know, overall, this is a, a, a great accessory pouch. It even comes with uh, two of their uh, anchor points as well, which is always a nice touch. But you know, overall, I don't know if this is my favorite accessory bag, but it's got to be right up there with uh, one of the best ones that are on the market today. The last and certainly not least is the, the new Shimoda accessory bags. Now, this is the small one. This retails for $24.95. There's a medium one that would fit in between here that retails for $29.95, and this is the large for $34.95. Um, these, are, these are really cool as well. Good, you know, nice uh, weatherproof uh, nylon material. And it also has the same theme of being able to see its contents uh, in, you know, without having to open it up. So like the back side of the smaller version is completely clear and there's mesh along the inside here. So you have a pocket on the top here and you also have a divider on the inside from the main compartment right here. So, and, it, and this entire thing expands out. So you can put a, a lot of uh, all the little ins and outs in here that you could possibly want, which is definitely nice. And I like these zipper pulls that are on here. There's there's not a whole lot to it really, but there's just something there's just something I like about it. I'm not, I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what it is. Now each one of these accessory bags comes with their um, their straps, and you can actually you know strap it here to these anchor points, and you can use this as a a shoulder bag, or you can hang it off you know off the side of your tripod when you're shooting if you wanted to, or, or really hang it to anything. And it also has a little carrying handle here if you wanted to uh, to hold it that way. So there's multiple different ways that you could carry that one. Now this one here, this thing is a monster. It is huge on the inside. It's very similar design as the smaller one, except uh, it has a, a, a clear opening in the front. Let me open this up here. And you have two separate mesh pockets here. So you have one here, and you also have another one here. And then you have the large compartment here where you would put everything else. And this thing, I don't know the volume, but as you can see how wide this thing expands out to, I mean, you can put so much gear inside of this. It is, it is wild. You, I think I could actually put every piece of my, uh, all of my smaller items into this one bag, which is exactly, it's, it's what I might end up doing really. But once again, it comes with the straps. So you could strap it here and you could carry this as a bag if you wanted to uh, on its own right. 
So I'm really looking forward to getting in and testing this out further. The uh, the entire Shimoda line just came out a month or so ago, so these are all uh, very new. So really looking to uh, looking forward to putting this through its paces and uh, testing it out. So if you made it to this point of the video, I applaud you and I thank you as well. I know it's not the uh, the most exciting topic in the world and. I also understand that things that get me excited might not get other people excited. So hopefully you're able to get some useful information out of the video. I'll put links to everything in the description below. So if you want to take a uh, closer look at anything, you can. And if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment below. I guarantee I'll get back to you and I'll see you next week. Bye.